We brought forward spending to deal with the recession. I know he's against us bringing forward the spending, but we brought forward current and capital spending to deal with the recession. Now, let me tell him that spending is $44 billion in the year 2009-10. That is the highest capital expenditure ever in our country. It compares with the recession years under the Tories, when capital spending was only $12 billion or $16 billion. We are taking the action to invest in our public services. They would cut our public services now. And why does he not admit that it would be 10 per cent cuts in public services under the Conservatives? David Cameron. Let's first of all be clear about the Prime Minister's claims about Conservative policy. We, even his own colleagues don't believe him. This is the report we had from last week's Cabinet. Darling pointed out that Brown's Tory cut figures did not represent the Conservative Party's policy but were merely extrapolations. Ah. Now, it, it gets more interesting. Cooper, previously the Treasury Minister responsible for public spending, echoed his concerns. According to one source who was present, Brown was visibly irritated at the way he had been undermined. <laughs> and brought the meeting to an early close. <laughs> he, says, he says he wants to be a teacher. It sounds like he's lost control of the classroom. <laughs> the, the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister, last week, last week at that dispatch box, he did not talk about bringing forward capital expenditure. He said very clearly, capital expenditure will grow until the year of the Olympics. Let me give him one more chance to show that that talk of transparency and truth and honesty actually means something. Find that moral compass, stand up there and tell us you got it wrong. Yeah. Mr Speaker, I read, I read out the figures to the House. We are spending $38 billion in that year 2008-9, more than the Tories would ever do. We are spending $44 billion in the coming year, more than the Tories would ever do. We are spending, we are spending more money on capital investment than at order, any time in order. our history. I apologise for interrupting the Prime Minister. There is simply far too much noise. The public doesn't like it, and neither do I. Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, and we've got to face up to the fact that a sensible debate in this country means that the Conservatives are going to cut spending on housing, on education, on policing, on all the vital public services. He cannot evade the fact that his figures are lower than any of ours in any year, and that is the truth about public spending in our country. David Cameron. Speaker, the entire country will have heard one very important thing. This Prime Minister cannot give a straight answer, and he's not a big enough man to say he got it wrong. Yeah.